Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on developmental biology and this is the part 2 of this series of videos on developmental biology. So let's start the question answer session or MCQ session on developmental biology. So the first question of this video that is question number 21. It is the correct sequence of events during fertilization in mammals is option A capacitation then activation of egg then acrosomal reaction and at the end entry of sperm in egg so this is the option a option b is first one is capacitation then acrosomal reaction then activation of egg and then entry of sperm in egg then the option c acrosomal reaction sorry option c acrosomal reaction then activation of egg then capacitation and entry of egg in entry of sperm in egg or option d activation of egg then acrosomal reaction then entry to sperm in egg entry of sperm to egg and then capacitation so which one is the correct sequence of events during fertilization in mammals that is option b so at first the capacitation then acrosomal reaction then activation of egg and at the end entry of sperm in egg that is the correct sequence of fertilization in mammals so here we can see the steps here so first is sperm makes contact with the egg here and this is the egg and this is the sperm so after that acrosomal uh, acrosome reacts with the zona pellucida of the <coughs> egg here after that the acrosome reacts with the perivitelline space here and after that plasma membrane of sperm and egg fuse with each other and ultimately sperm nucleus enters egg okay so this is the whole procedure of fertilization so let's move on to next question that is during fertilization polyspermy is prevented by option a zona pellucida in the presence of sodium ion option b vitelline membrane in the presence of calcium ions option c cortical granules in the presence of calcium and sodium ions or option d influx of sodium calcium and magnesium ions so which one is correct about the fertilization so which prevent the polyspermy in fertilization or during fertilization and the right one is option c that is cortical granules in the uh, in the presence of calcium and sodium ions prevent polyspermy during fertilization here this polyspermy is a phenomenon where, where an ovum is fertilized by more than one sperm that is known as polyspermy so to prevent this the zona pellucida a barrier that surrounds mammalian eggs become impermeable after fertilization this prevents more sperm from entering the egg so here in the picture you can see this is the zona pellucida and this is the cortical granule content here which prevent the sperm to uh, which prevent uh, <coughs> polyspermy reaction okay so this is the whole reaction you, here you can see so let's move on to next question that is question number 23 so the termination of gastrulation is indicated by option a closure of neural tube option b closure of blastopore option c obliteration of uh, archenteron or option d obliteration of blastocyst so which is the <coughs> right answer about the termination of gastrulation and the right answer is option d that is obliteration of blastocyst so that is that indicates the termination of gastrulation okay so here by the end of gastrulation three embryonic germ cells are produced that are endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm so that so uh, it take their position in the embryo okay during the gastrulation end of gastrulation so the blastocyst 
blastocyst pro progressively shrink and eventually disappear which marks the end of castration okay so here you can see this is the blastula stage where this total region is the blastocyst region okay so during gastula three layer are produced that is the ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm okay and the blastocyst <coughs> progressively shrink and eventually disappear in the gastula stage okay so this is the all in this question so let's move on to question number 24 it is which of the following option are correct about fertilization in mammals and the options are option a sperm must be capacitated in the female reproductive tract before they are capable of fertilizing the egg and option b fertilin protein in the sperm bind to integrins in the egg and allow the membranes to fuse option c that is polyspermy is blocked due to the modification of the zona uh, zona proteins zona pellucida proteins by the contents of the cortical granules or option d all of the above so which one is correct option about the fertilization in mammals and the right one is option d that is all of the above statement is correct about the fertilization in mammals okay so next question they can get next is question number 25 the male germ unit that is mgu in angiosperms comprise of option a vegetative nucleus and the generative cell option b the two sperm cells option c vegetative nucleus and one of the sperms or option d vegetative nucleus and the two sperms so which one is correct about the male germ unit of angiosperm that is option d that is vegetative nucleus and two sperms so the germ unit contains vegetative nucleus and two sperms okay so let's move on to question number 26 so in gymnosperm the endosperm is option a polyploid option b triploid option c diploid option d haploid so which one is correct about the gymnos endosperm present in gymnosperm that is option d that is haploid so in gymnosperm the endosperm is haploid and the next one is peri um, perisperm is present in the seeds of option a black pepper option b castor option c pumpkin option d wheat and the right one is option a that is black pepper so perisperm is present in the seeds of black pepper and this perisperm is a food storing nutritive tissue emerging from the nucleus furthermore the endosperm of the seed absorb nutrients from the perisperm and transform them into the embryo so that is the role of peri perisperm next is question number 28 it is arabidopsis arabidopsis is a popular experimental material to study the genetic control of embryo development in higher plants because of option a short life cycle option b small genome option c small size of plant or option d amenability amenability to tissue culture amenability to tissue culture so which one is correct and the right answer is option b that is small genome because of this small genome Arabid arabidopsis is a popular experiment met experimental material to study the genetic control of embryo development okay so this arabidopsis is a genus of small flowering plants in the mustard family that is uh, brassicaceae they are related to cabbage radish to, uh, turnip or broccoli okay so this is the Ar arabidopsis okay so let's move on to question number 29 that is during the germination of pulse seeds the major food reserves are degraded by the activity of option a amylase option b lipase option c protease or option d cellulase and the right one is option a that is amylase so during the germination of pulse seeds the major food reserves are degraded by the activity of amylase 
let's move on to and this amylase is an enzyme that helps the body breaks down carbohydrates so it helps to break down the carbohydrate material and it produces and it produced in the salivary gland of mouth and pancreas okay so let's move on to question number 30 in mature the orchid seeds germinate only in association with option a mixo Mycetes, option B, Mycorrhiza, option C, blue green algae, option D, Actinomycetes. So, which one is right about the orchid seeds germinate in association with option B, that is Mycorrhiza. So, the orchid seeds germinate only in association with Mycorrhiza. So, what is Mycorrhiza? This Mycorrhiza is a symbiotic relationship between a fungus with a plant. So, the word Mycorrhiza means fungus root. In this relationship, the plant provides the fungus with carbohydrates produced through photosynthesis and the fungus in return, they supplies the plant with water and nutrients from the soil such as phosphorus. Okay, so this is a relation, symbiotic relationship between fungus and plant that is known as mycorrhiza which, which we can see in orchid seeds. Okay, so let's move on to question number 31. That is the envelope of the embryonic shoot in maize seed is called option A, tester, option B, tegment, option C, scutellum, scutellum or option D, coleptile, coleptile. So, right answer A is option D, that is coleptile is the right answer. So, envelope of the embryonic shoot in maize seed is called coleptile coleptile okay and here you can see in this picture so a coleptile is a protective sheath that covers the fast leaf and growing stem of the monocotyledonous plant and it is a cylindrical structure that surrounds the shoot apex and fast leaf in grass seedlings so here in this picture you can see this is the coleptile okay and this coleptile is the protective sheath that covers the fast leaf and growing stem of the monocotyledonous plant okay so let's move on to question number 32 that is alluron in the outermost layer of endosperm in cereals it helps in this alluron helps in protection of endosperm that is option a option b endosperm growth option c accumulation of reserve food in the endosperm or option d mobilization of reserve food in the endosperm so right answer about the alluron is option d that is this alluron mobilize uh, their uh, role is to mobilize or mobilization of reserve food in the endosperm so next question and also here you can see this is the seed and germination seed and this layer this layer is the alluron okay so alluron is a protein found in the protein granules of the maturing seed and tubers so it also refers to the alluron layer which is one of the two main cell type of the endosperm so the alluron layer is the outermost layer of the endosperm okay here you can see so let's move on to the next question that is question number 33 a male germ unit in brass, uh, brassica species comprises option a the entire pollen grain option b worm sperm and the vegetative nucleus option c the two sperms and option d both the sperms and the vegetative nucleus so the right answer about the male germ unit in brassica species is option D. That is both the sperms and the vegetative nucleus are present. Okay. So next question is question number 34. That is if more than one pollen tubes discharge their contents inside an embryo sac and the sperm fusing with the egg is derived from one pollen tube and the other pollen tube fusing with the secondary nucleus it is called as option a heterofertilization option b polyspermy option c heterospermy option c polygamy so the right one is option a that is heterofertilization 
so this heterofertilization is a type of double fertilization in plants that result in genetically different endosperm and embryo it occurs when two different sperm nuclei from two different pollen tubes enter the same embryo sac that is called the heterofertilization okay so next one is question number 35 in a cross between a tetraploid female plant and a diploid male plant of mulberry the endosperm would be option a hexaploid option b triploid option c tetraploid or option d pentaploid and the right one is option D that is pentaploid. So, in a cross between a tetraploid female plant and a diploid male plant of mulberry, the endosperm would be a pentaploid. Let's move on to question number 36. Which kind of cleavage is shown in mammals? And the options are option A holoblastic rotational, option B medoblastic rotational, option C holoblastic radial, or option D medoblastic radial. So, which kind of cleavage is shown in the mammals? That is option A. It is holoblastic rotational. So, next is and this mammals undergo holoblastic rotational cleavage characterized by a slow rate of division, a unique cleavage orientation, lack of divisional strinconi and the formation of a blastocyst. And in rotation, uh, rotational cleavage, the egg divides vertically into two daughter cells one of the cells then divides longitudinally while the other divides latitudinally so these divisions rotate 90 degrees from each other okay so next is question number 37 so inward movement of an expanding outer layer spreading over the internal surface during gastrulation is termed as option a Invagination, option B, ingregation, option C, involution, involution, or option D, delamination. And the right one is option C, that is involution. So, inward movement of an expanding outer layer spreading over the internal surface. So, here you can see this is the cell where the the here you can see the inter inward movement of the expanding outer layer spreading over the internal surface so this is the internal surface and the cells growing onto the inward surface in, like this in this direction and in this direction onto the surface of the inward membrane so cell growing in this range here Okay, so this is this uh, this is this process of growing is known as involution. So interning of the cell sheet over the basal surface of an outer layer. Okay, and this we can see in amphibian mesoderm. So next one is option thirty uh, question number thirty eight. So which of the following is or are correct pairs? And the options are option P that is radial cleavage is matched with uh, echinoderms echinoderms or option q that is spiral cleavage is annelids option r that is bilateral cleavage is tunicates option s that is rotational cleavage is related to mammal so which combination of option is correct about uh, about this matching so the options are option a p and s option b q r s option c q and r option d p q r s so the right matching is option d that is p q r and s all these matches are correct okay so let's move on to question number 39 so which of the following statements regarding gastrulation is true and options are option a it results in the formation of organizer option b it results in the formation of three layer three germ layers option c it makes sorry it marks the end of nerulation or option d none of the above and the right answer is option b 
that is it results in the formation of three germ layers so which one is the correct statement about gastrulation that is in gastrulation three germ layers are formed that is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and this gastrulation is an early development process in which one layer of blastocyst recombines to form a gastrula containing three germ layers that are ectoderm mesoderm and ectoderm okay so the next the last question of this video that is morphogenetic competence in callus tissue callus tissue is obtained by option a vitrification option b soma uh, clonal variation option c habituation or option d d differentiation so which one is correct about the morphogenetic competence and the right answer is option d that is d differentiation so this and this morphogenesis is a the generation of whole plant from callus tissue is called organogenesis or morphogenesis so this is called a morphogenesis and this morphogenetic competence in callus tissue is obtained by d differentiation okay or regeneration so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on developmental biology so thank you for watching this video